Weather First with meteorologist Joshua Rivas. All right, good Thursday, everybody. Hope you're enjoying your Thursday out there. Another warm day. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. The sea breeze getting ready to kick in, and uh, we'll do it again for tomorrow. Maybe a little degrees, a few degrees cooler due to more cloud cover and an increased rain chance. But on Friday, the showers and storms look to be scattered in nature with the best chance of rain being across our inland zones. For the weekend, we dry out. It will be partly cloudy to mostly sunny and seasonably warm. It won't be too comfortable. We're not expecting a cool down with this front, but it will be seasonable. Next week, we're looking at mild conditions, and it will actually increase the temperatures ever so slightly each and every day as we go next week. Let's start off this evening. You'll notice the westerly wind coming in with the mixing of the easterly breeze coming in right there. That's your sea breeze. As we go into this evening, you can see the clouds right along it, right in place. Maybe a few showers. No, I think we'll stay mostly dry and staying rather warm as we go into the evening. Overnight, we'll have a southeast to southerly wind developing with off and on clouds mixing with the clearer skies. We'll have almost a full moon for tonight. Be watching out for that. Otherwise, starting off pretty humid for your Friday. We're looking at the model going on further in time. So again, for tonight, uh, looking at those off and on clouds for tomorrow morning. Showers off towards our northwest and towards our south. They even go into the afternoon. Our showers don't get going into the sea breeze gets going in the afternoon. And because of that, with the westerly wind behind the sea breeze, that'll keep the best activity across our inland area. Still, though, there's a decent chance for rain near the coastline. Now, again, if the winds develop a little bit faster out of the west, that could keep all the activity towards the inland area. So something to watch there right now will go about a 40% chance of rain. In the mid-levels, a little trough right here, breaking down the ridge, bringing us the rain chance for tomorrow, but quickly leaves out. Not that strong again, not expecting a cool down, just a quick rain chance, and then we turn dry for the rest of the weekend. Next week, uh, kind of in between type of pattern, but maybe a little bit of a ridge trying to work back in by mid next week, and that will help the temperatures right back in the mid to upper 80s. Dry for today. Moisture coming in for tomorrow again comes in pretty quickly, leaves very quickly. So a decent chance of rain tomorrow afternoon, but that looks about it. Maybe an isolated shower Saturday morning, then we stay dry and maybe a little bit of moisture working back in by next Monday and Tuesday turning mild, but the rain chance actually looks to stay out of the forecast until maybe the end of next week. Temperatures today on the warm side, 85 in Sarasota, 87 Northport, 87 in Nocatee, 86 over towards Lakewood Ranch. So in the mid to upper 80s overall before the sea breeze kicks in overall warm and partly cloudy for tonight. Partly cloudy off and on clouds, temperatures in the mid to upper 60s and feeling a little bit more humid by the time you wake up on Friday morning. Marine forecast partly cloudy southeast to southerly wind seas two feet and a moderate chop temperatures in the low 80s for the beaches. Light winds again. Sea breeze kicking in surf one to two feet. UV index still high and the sunset will be 758 this evening. 70 forecast temperatures staying in the uh, generally the low to mid 80s. Uh, more seasonable Saturday and Sunday. Like I said, our high temperature this time of year is around 82. Uh, lows getting in the mid to upper 60s across our area, staying pretty mild as we go into next week. And to notice that little bit of a warm up trend getting it back up to near 85 next Wednesday. And we'll have to watch that closely to see how the pattern shapes up. We could be looking at even warmer temperatures as we go further out in time. Again, that always changes, but interesting enough, we're looking at another warm-up tr warm trend by the mid part of next week. Another web weather update is coming up later on today.